the parliamentary group resolved as follows. One, the PG restates the position that the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party does not recognize Dr. William Ruto as the legitimate president of the Republic of Kenya. Two, Azimio reiterates that it will not participate in the reconstitution of the IBC through the formula and process being proposed by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime. Three, that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration has put Kenyans in an existential struggle for survival with the cost of basic necessities becoming untenable. This trend must be resisted and reversed, and as Mio has resolved to provide the leadership needed to achieve this. Four, that Kenya Kwanzaa be made to immediately embark on steps to reverse the huge tax burden it continues to impose on the people of Kenya that has seen taxes make up more than half of the price of goods and more than half of the people's income. Five, Azimio has resolved that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration must be forced to take steps to bring down the cost of goods and services and in addition provide and in addition increase the minimum wage to keep it above inflation. On these, Kenyans need timelines from the Kenya Kwanzaa and not false promises and rhetoric. The cost of living was supposed to come down immediately the administration took power. But today, the administration does not even mention it. Unga was supposed to be trading at Kenya shillings 70 by now. Six, that with Azimio providing leadership, Kenya Kwanzaa be forced to restore and expand the social protection programs which guarantee a basic monthly income to the poor. Seven, that with Azimio providing leadership, Kenyans mobilize and oppose plans to sell off state-run parastatals. These entities, some of which are critical to our national security, must be allowed to continue serving the public or to continue serving public good rather than lining the pockets of a few individuals. Further, these parastatals are public property and cannot be sold without parliamentary approval. The current attempt to amend the law so that these parastatals are sold at the whim of the administration will be resisted by the people of Kenya. Eight, on education, we have resolved that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration be compelled to resume free education and to return the subsidies and bursaries that have always been available for all Kenyan children. Nine, that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime be compelled to immediately address the confusion, the chaos, and the mounting expenses and demands surrounding the implementation of the junior high school program. Azimio pays tribute to the late Professor George Magoha, whom we lay to rest tomorrow, for his passion, vision, and resolve that is now missing. Had this administration let Professor Magoha stay, we are sure we would not have witnessed the confusion we see today. Tomorrow, members of the administration will flock to game to voice hypocritical and false praise to the late professor. Yet they refuse to allow him to finish his work of, imp of implanting the new education system and instead elevated politics above the interests of the children of Kenya. Number 10, that we have taken note of the suffering of university and college students 
and we demand that the Kenya Kwanzaa administration immediately release all pending help funds to help ease the suffering of students. As the Mio notes that inflation has wiped out the purchasing power of the current allowances given to university students and demands that the administration must also increase the amount available under HELP in light of the inflation. In addition, and to end the destitution prevailing in our campuses, Kenya Kwanzaa administration must be forced to restore the old catering services in all public universities to enable all students access decent meals. Open the kitchens to enable students live in dignity. Number 11. That the Kenya Kwanzaa administration immediately releases monies to the counties to enable devolved units offer services that are critical to our people at this very difficult time. As the mayor supports the formula put up by the Council of Governors, we also support calls for the full transfer of devolved functions, including water, health, and agriculture, among others, to the counties with immediate effect. We note that over 4,000 doctors are currently unemployed, yet Kenyans cannot get the health services they deserve. Kenya Kwanzaa must immediately make it possible for county governments to employ these doctors as part of the process to achieve universal health care. Twelve, that the Kenya Kwanzaa regime must immediately stop all lies and release the NGCDF and NGAF monies to all constituencies to help ease the burden of the people for whom these funds are a lifeline. Severally, the regime has promised to release the monies but failed to keep its word. Finally, number 13, we note we are currently engaged in a just struggle for this nation, a struggle for good standard of living, struggle for democracy, and struggle to safeguard our hard-won multi-party political system that is under threat. In this struggle, we shall not tolerate acts that amount to a betrayal of the dreams and aspirations of the people of Kenya. Azimio, therefore, asks its elected leaders to shape up or ship out. There will be no two ways about this. The flirtations and cohabitations with the Kenya Kwanzaa regime under whatever pretext is totally unacceptable. Development is to be sought from Parliament, which appropriates funds, and not from State House. State House has no constitutional mandate or power to appropriate funds. That mandate and power resides in the two houses of parliament, that is the Senate and the National Assembly. Our people must not succumb to the blackmail, dirty politics and dirty money being dished out by the regime that is struggling for legitimacy. Thank you. End of statement. We are not fielding any questions.